Justin Lee Turner was only five when his parents reported him missing on the afternoon of Friday, March the 3rd, 1989 in Berkeley County. The alarm was raised after he failed to return on the school bus home. Justin lived with his dad, Victor Lee Turner, and his stepmom, Megan R. Turner, formerly known as Pamela. They lived in South Carolina, the United States. Berkeley County Sheriff Department led a solid two-day search and no trace of Justin was ever found. Investigators began to theorise that Justin was abducted while making his way to the school bus stop. When Channel 2 Media caught wind of the reported missing child, they attended the address alongside police and other people searching for little Justin. They searched the home and the surrounding areas for two days. On the third day, cameras were rolling when the dad, Victor, was filmed going into a small trailer on the property. Justin was found in the trailer deceased. He had been strangled and essayed. This was caught on camera and Victor is seen entering and very quickly backing out saying he's in there, my boy is in there, somebody's hurt him, which was very strange as he never touched him or looked long enough to see what the injuries were. The thing is Justin never went to school that day and Justin never left on the bus to even go to school. Many witnesses say that he did not get on the bus in the morning and he did not attend school that day. When asked about that, his stepmother Megan said that in the morning of the 3rd she'd had a shower and she was not feeling well and she never got Justin physically onto the school bus. She also admitted to witnesses that she'd had an alteration with Justin the morning of his disappearance. With Justin being found in the trailer, after many police searches, it shows that the body must have been moved and was most probably killed within the main household. Plus the Turners were the only people with access to the trailer and with it being locked and them owning the only set of keys to it. The father, Victor, also asked law enforcement officers if Justin was killed by a family member, what would happen to them. He asked that just before Justin's body was found by himself. Megan was originally arrested, but the charges were dropped six months later due to insufficient evidence. Forensics showed that Justin was killed by asphyxiation and materials found matched the materials within the home and on Victor's shirt collar. Justin was also essayed with a cylinder-type object. The Turners then proceeded to not help law enforcement with the case and went on to hide physical evidence and made a plan to withhold or conceal further evidence. The Turners were also given polygraph tests and passed both, although it is confirmed that they took the sedative Valium, also known as diazepam, which would have numbed their reactions. Their lawyers would not allow them to reset it. Cold cases are put forward to try new technology and Justin's was a prime example of how that can find the real killers many years later. The new technology used shows that the murder weapon that was found in the house matched marks on his neck. Also, forensics vouched that Justin was killed shortly after his last meal, proving that he was moved after death and carried to the trailer that only the Turners had access to. Never once did the co-parents of Justin call the Sheriff's Department and ask how the investigation was going, although his birth mother nearly called every day. The Turners are to be sentenced in the next few weeks.